Hello family, welcome back to the channel. This is Anthony and I'm here with another Dollar Tree haul. This one is mainly just spa and beauty items. This, All these items came, I believe, out of the uh, health and beauty aisle. So from the makeup all the way down to the, you know, the body wash and um, bowl bath area, that type of stuff. So there's a mixture of makeup and supplies, lotions. Um, what else is in here? Like tools. <clears throat> so let's just jump right into it because I really don't know what's all down in here. But I know I did get a few things that were on my wish list starting off with the spa savvy uh, cosmetic sponges where I did pick up three of them actually I got the last three because I wanted one each for my girls and then one for myself I like to use these cosmetic sponges in my crafting as well as for makeup and things like that so I got these for the girls for their Easter baskets this year I plan on just doing a like beauty and spa themed basket for them you know things that they I know they enjoy they like face masks and stuff like that uh, for their hygiene and all that so that is what their Easter baskets will be so a lot of these items in there in this haul will be for them as well I did find the slumber products I found the Aromatherapy, oh, aromatherapy, aromatherapy, April bath and showers, and this is the body wash and foaming wash, which is a 14 ounce bottle. These were on my wish list as well, and then I found the 10 ounce bottle of the soothing lavender and chamomile body lotion. So that is a cute little set there, great for a gift basket. And then I did find the, excuse me, Aromatherapy uh, Relax Refreshing Mint and Eucalyptus Body Lotion. I did not see the body wash to this one. So I will be looking out for that one as well. Okay. I did get some masks. I'm just going to try to dig through this bag and pull out the ones that I found. Hopefully I can get them all at one time. Okay. I know there's some other kinds that are like in the tubes, but we'll go with these packaged ones. So this one is bubble, it says brightening bubble clay mask treatment with kaolin clay, peptides, and ceramide to revitalize, hydrate, and help with anti-aging. It will change to clay, from clay to bubbles. So this is says by, it's by Bio Miracle Skin Therapy. So I picked that up. Some of these will be for the girls and I might try a couple myself. Maybe this one. So got that one. And then I got a few of the Yes To masks. So let's see here. I got this one. It is Yes to Coconut. It is a ultra hydrating for dry skin moisturizing mud mask. And it is a single use mask. Then I got the Yes to Tomatoes for clear skin. And it's for all skin types. It says Yin and Yang Double Masking Kit. So there's a detox plus hydrate included in this mask here. So it says two masks. One is for detoxifying and hydrating 
white charcoal mud mask and then the other one is detoxifying charcoal mud mask and then the next one I got is yes to grapefruit and this is a two-step so the first step is the daily facial scrub and then the second step is the pore perfection brightening peel and it is to correct and repair this next one is another yes to tomatoes and it is an acne fighting paper mask so it says tomato and salicylic acid controls pimples and blackheads so it's a single use mask and then the last yes to is another coconut and it is a two-step hydrate and restore so the first step is the ultra hydrating exfoliating lip scrub oh so this one is a two-step lip kit I might keep that one it says the second step is a yes to coconut plumping lip mask so I thought those were cool and this last one I picked up and I did pick this one up for myself it's by global beauty global beauty care is cucumber hydrogel face mask it feels really cold and squishy it says hydrogel face mask with vitamins A C and E helps soothe and cool skin moisturizes and nourishes skin 15 minute facial therapy firms hydrates restores and there's one mask in this package okay I did pick up one of these facial cleansing brushes I wanted to check to see if I already had got these for the girls but I got this one for me but if they do not have these I will get them one to stick in their Easter basket I picked up one of these Bath and Beauty Pure Attraction Melon and Plum Silkening Body Mist and it is an 8.4 fluid ounce bottle okay. then I found these they're called blemish patches it says they're non-medicated targets problem areas you get 24 in the package and I have not seen these before it says absorbs oil and residue helps clear blemishes overnight while you sleep and it does have the directions in the back so yeah I want to give those a try <coughs> okay I did pick up this Pond's Clear Solutions I had did haul a couple of other ones a few hauls back but this one is a facial foam formulated by the Pons Institute it says clinically proven fights 10 oil problems combat combats 10 10 problems so this is a 1.7 ounce so I thought we'd try that then I found this St. Ives cleansing stick it says instantly hydrates and softens skin as you cleanse and it is cactus water and hibiscus and it has a screw off top mmm smells good so we'll try that I just picked up one if we like them I'll grab some more because my local Dollar Tree was pretty stocked on those okay I did pick up this Noxzema it is a, the classic clean original made with real eucalyptus extract and it's a dip, deep cleansing cream wash for soft and smooth skin so I grabbed that you notice I pick up a lot of stuff for 
um, the girls to clean their skin with. They they um, are really particular about uh, their face, clean, making sure it's clean, and you know, trying to fight the acne and all of that. So they love products. So I buy a lot of them. Okay, this is the Oatmeal Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is a different one than I usually buy from Dollar Tree, but this is Dollar Tree brand. Um, my one daughter, the only lotion she usually uses is either Dove Lotion products or the one from Dollar Tree with the oatmeal in it because of her sensitive skin, but it gets dry and itchy a lot, so... We'll try this one out for her. And this is an 8 ounce tube. So there's a lot of product there. I did pick up two of the Dove Men Plus Care. I did uh, put one of these in my son's Valentine's bag this year. And he really liked it. He had asked me about uh, these if I had any more. So my Dollar Tree got some in, so I grabbed these to throw in his little Easter bag or basket or whatever. Uh, it says Ultra Hydra Cream Face, Hands, and Body. So, and he really liked it, so it is a name brand product. So, I picked up a couple. <clears throat> Excuse me. I picked up this Pure Silk Spa Therapy Moisturizing Coconut Oil. It is for the hair and the body. I love the smell of coconut. And I do use a lot of oils for my skin. I like to put it on my feet and elbows and stuff like that. So, grab that. I found one of the Body Ecologies. I've been looking for the Body Ecology products. And I did look up on this. Um, it's the Cherry Blossom Cleansing Shower Jelly. And my Dollar Tree had a bunch of these. I don't know if they got in any of the other ones, but this is all I found. So I will give that a try. And it's 8 ounces. I picked up one of the Lufa soaps. They had like three different scents or four, but I picked up the coconut. You know, I love coconut. And it says you just wet your hands and the soap bar. Rub bar with bath hand, with both hands into a lather. Gently rub lather across body. Rinse thoroughly. Well, no, I got to use a washcloth. I'm not big on using just my hand. So, but you can see the little loofah in there. So I thought I would try that. What else? I did find some new bandages. Uh, these are the LOL band-aids. You get 20 band-aids in the box, and my granddaughters love LOL. So I got these just to keep here at home for when they're over and they need a band-aid. Got these cute ones for them. They'll love those. Okay, speaking of LOL, I did pick up one of these lip balms, flavored lip balms. It is a surprise flavor, it says. So I don't know what the flavor is. It is a surprise. But they did have different themed lip balms. So I grabbed that for one of my granddaughters. I was trying to see if I grabbed a different one as well, or if that's the only one I got right now. <clears throat> okay, I found these little lip gloss. This is a strawberry scented one. It has a sloth on top of a rainbow. And it is a little, it's a light purple color uh, with glitter in it. But it is a gloss. So this will be for one of my girls. And then I got this one with like the space cat. And it is... A vanilla scented pink with glitter okay I did pick the girls up these um, uh, what are they silicone brush cleaners for their makeup brushes 
So I got one, the unicorn, and then I got one, the diamond. I think they will like these. Um, yeah, and they have little suctions on the backs super cute I don't know how they work for cleaning the brush but I got them to stick in their Easter baskets oh here's the other lip gloss lip balm I picked up the Jojo one for my other granddaughter so and this one is a flavored lip balm what flavor is it pink lemonade this one is pink lemonade you know, JoJo's popular right now as well with the kids. So. Oh, I did pick up two boxes of the blemish patches. These are for the girls. So that's why there's two of those. I picked up some more fashion nails. This was a new print that I saw. I thought it was cute. It's different. Very summery. I love the bold yellow and that blue in there. It has my mint green in there. And then the, the printed one has like uh, foliage on them. So those are really cute. So I went ahead and got those for me. My Dollar Tree has come out with some more double packs of the simple nail, simple nail colors. Let me see how many did I pick up. I think I just got three of them this time. Yeah. So I did pick up three of the double packs of the nail colors. So I got this one. It has this pretty purple glitter nail polish. And then this like a reddish, cram well, like cranberry or burgundy color. So simple colors, which is... Um, Revlon product So two nice size bottles of nail polish for a dollar is a really good deal and Let me see what the name of the color is on the bottom um, The purple glitter one is called cyber witch and then that burgundy one is called hot shine So this package here and these all say, well, not, let me see, does that one? says step one color on, on these. <clears throat> I think the purple glitter one might say step two because it has a different color sticker label on there, but it's turned so I can't see it. Um, but I got this package with these two colors. The peach looking color is called Mar Mardi Gras. And then this blue, bluish gray, or it's kind of got like a lavender tone in it as well, is called El Fresco. And then the last package I picked up. Oh, okay, I see the other label. On the glitter ones, it says Black Light, Black Light Technology. And then the... the um, other sticker says step one so this one is a repeat of the peach color that is Mardi Gras and then this blue glitter one is called magic hack so yeah those are the the three packages I picked up I did find some cuticle oil and nail strengthener by Sassy and Chic. I wanted to give that a try. My fingernails are a wreck right now. I haven't put any nails on because I'm working it on journals. And this glue that I use, this Fabri-Tac, it really eats up the polish and stuff. So I'm just trying to hold off till I get finished making some journals. So, yeah, I grabbed that, and it's a little 0.45 fluid ounces, but it says it helps strengthen and maintain healthy nails and cuticles, moisturizes with vitamin E. So that one was new. I 
I got some LA Colors products. Let me see. I'm trying to make sure I got them all. Okay, I picked up a lip scrub by LA Colors. They had some different colored ones. Um, this one is called Juicy. So yeah, it's just a lip a lip scrub. <clears throat> I picked up one of these LA Colors Prism Gel. It's called Rockstar. So it's basically a little uh, body shimmer and shine. If you want a little shimmer on your skin. And then I picked up this LA Colors Metallic Color Stick. It is in the silver. So yeah, I grabbed that. Something different. And then I also picked up this LA Colors Auto Auto Liner Smudge Proof. It is a uh, eyeliner, and it's in the black. It says it has a smooth application, so I want to give that a try. I did get some sassy and chic tools. So first is this eye beauty set. It has an eyebrow shaper and a mascara wand in there. And I got the lavender one. So I'll try that. Then I got some more toenail clippers. I don't know. The toenail clippers seem to disappear around here. So I got this one and it's pink. So maybe it'll hang around because I think my son is the one that gets a hold of the toenail clippers I did find one of these blemish extractors by sassy and chic it uh, removes whiteheads and blackheads for all skin types and it's stainless steel so I went ahead and got that and then I got this facial hair remover Lord knows I need that says easily removes unwanted facial hair works on your upper lip cheeks and chin so I don't know how it works first time I seen it and I did get the one with the purple handle <clears throat> then the last on the sassy and chic tools this is a shadow switching sponge so it's in a little tin little tin can and it says sponge cleaning tool that easy removes color from eyeshadow brushes so they can so they can be used to apply a new color so instead of switching the brush you should be able to clean the brush off with this sponge that's in here and move on to your next color so I just grabbed one of those to try it out it reminds me it's the little tins that Dollar Tree sells you know that are empty so I'm wondering if we could DIY our own little shadow switching sponge thingy <laughs> so I have to see what the sponge looks like in there so why don't I just go ahead and open it up and see ooh okay there's the sponge it's kind of rough But you know what? I'm thinking we probably could make this. So it's just one of these kind of sponges cut to fit in the tin. Definitely a DIY there. Okay, I did get one e.l.f. product. And it is the Brightening Eyeliner Pencil. And it has the sharpener. And I got this one in black. There was a lot of e.l.f. products in my Dollar Tree. But that's the only one I picked up. What I was looking for that has been on my wish list were the um, hard candy products. And I did get lucky and find a few. 
So, and that'll be it for the haul once I share those with you. Um, so, first off, I found these uh, bronzers. They are the Hard Candy Matte Blush and Bronzer Duo. And this just opens up so you can see the colors in the inside. So there's the blush and there's the, the bronzer and there's a little brush in there. So yeah, I, I actually was happy to see those because those were on my wish list. And I did pick up three of those so the girls could have one. And then I could have one. And then also the hard candy, I found this, um, what is it? Is it another bronzer? It has a scratch and sniff on it, this chocolate. It's called Fox in a Box. Ooh, that smells good. It is a bronzer as well. Marbleized baked bronzer. So and it smells like chocolate. Mmm. So I picked up three of those so the girls could have one and I could have one. They are really into their makeup, so they're 13, but they they're playing around and experimenting and trying to learn. I think the only thing I have not bought them were fake eyelashes up to this point because I think they're still too long, young to be trying to wear eyelashes. But Anyway, I, I don't mind them playing around with makeup. I started wearing makeup at eight years old, y'all. So now I have to wear it or else I look a hot mess. Anyways, I digress. Um, the last item is this hard candy eyeshadow. It's called Bad Reputation. And it's uh, an eyeshadow duo. And it's like a, a gray. It's a like a charcoal gray and a a pearl like a pearl white so yeah they had just this color at my Dollar Tree I don't know if there's any more colors out there but I know different people have been hauling different hard candy products so these were the three that I found and I was happy to find those so that is my haul y'all I know it's long but I decided to do just the beauty and spa stuff all together. So, yeah, the girls will enjoy this some of this stuff in their Easter baskets. Till the next one, everyone. Stay blessed. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of the small little family here. Hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. So, till the next one, everyone. Stay safe. Stay safe. God bless. Bye-bye.